Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So this is a summoning video. Um, haven't done these in quite a while. I do have 19 like normal eggs and one light dark egg here that I can do my summon with. Mainly got these from farming Golden Speed 10. Um, if you were following me on my daily series, I basically went through I think 800 or so astro gems just farming, and I got these these eggs from Golden Speed 10. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna summon them now, and maybe maybe I'll get that. Get that sweet variant Cupid that I've always wanted. Alright, it's a low key, it's close enough. I'm still waiting for that day for me to get a variant um, 4 star monster. Because that has never happened. Well, it has never happened from an egg. Like, I've never gotten a variant 4 star or above from an egg before. They're like the rarest thing in the world. The the variant Nat Fives are even rarer. It's easier to get um get variants if you do the ten plus one summon because you're guaranteed to to um to to get a like you know to get like a variant um as your very last summon like you're hundred percent guaranteed and there's a chance that it, it can become a four star so it's actually easier for you to get to get a variant if you're if you're summoning using the the crystals. Well, not, not crystals, astro gems, I mean. Maybe I should just really save up for for Arena, like, and then do that guaranteed variant summon every single time. You never know, maybe one time I'll get lucky, get a lightning, and get that variant that I always wanted. Alright, that's, an, that's another Banshee. I feel like summoning for, um, with the normal eggs is like, you, you don't really get anything you really want. If you think about it, um, the, the rates are actually pretty good, like in, in 19 eggs or so I've already gotten two lightnings. I mean, obviously this is a small sample, but, um, most of the time if you do like 10 egg summons, you're pretty much bound to get at least one, so... The, I think the rates are, are actually pretty good. Um, it's about like 10% to get a 4 star. The reason I mentioned this is because like cer certain 4 stars aren't hard to get, so you don't have to like limit yourself to only using 3 stars. Just as, so as long as you farm hard enough and summon hard enough. All right, moment of truth. Light dark egg. Is it gonna be good? Am I am I gonna? Is my light dark luck gonna go nonstop? Am I gonna get some lightning? Yes, I got a cult. Holy shit! I haven't seen one of these in a long, long time. I'm gonna be honest. Um, getting cults is actually better than getting most, most um, light dark nat fours. Although, although I, I I do think I have some pretty good light dark nat fours, but I've been I've been trying to get some of these cults to do to um do to, to feed to my dark cult. Yeah, and he also needs better gems as well. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my results. I got one variant, I got two lightning, um got a Loki and a a Banshee. Um this wood banshee is actually really really good early on like if you if you are just getting into like golem b7 or so um the wood banshee is a really really excellent monster she's a she's an attack type monster which is good because this way she does a lot more damage um and yeah that's basically what you want her to do like she she restores her uh she has morale boost which you know boosts her sp every single time she attacks so she can spam her second skill a lot more and her second skill is a 60 percent um, defense down for two turns, so this is like definitely really powerful. And then um, for B7, the mobs, the, mo the the boss doesn't really hit really hard, so really the only debuff you kind of need is defense down. So if you can get land defense down on a lot of units, um, then have your nukers go, then 
you can you can clear it pretty fast you know so he's she's definitely a really really good monster a lot of people that ask me like you know when when they're getting into um golden speed 7 um and they they have her i i always recommend using her and you can just you pretty much just gleam her get her to evil too it's not all that difficult um if you happen to have her early on I don't know. I don't. I don't value gleams that much, but um, still, it's still pretty good. I don't know too much about the wood Loki. I think he's a sap monster. No, he has defense down 70% in sleep. This is actually really good because it has it has a 70% base chance. He's defender type. Um, they both have very good leader skill. So if you, if you happen to get, get them as variant, they have like this extra defense leader skill, which can can help you quite a lot. Just basically survive. I, I recommend using like um, defensive leader skills and then using like attack type monsters that are built like hybrid um, and then you can get through B7 pretty easy. But this isn't a golem's B7 guide, it was just me looking at those those two monsters. Um, I think I also have enough to do two rebirths so I'm just gonna do that really quick and see if I, if I get anything special. So the things I, I kind of want to keep are, I don't think the cocoa is that important, unless it's a water cocoa. Um, same thing with the beths. Alright, I'll just do this. Haven't been doing that many rebirths recently because, well, I've mo mostly just been farming. Um, Farming Golem Speed 10, and you don't actually get that many that many uh, three stars doing Golem Speed 10. You mostly like the easiest way to if you want to mass rebirth is to farm the scenario maps, like the, the normal maps, um, the ones that that have a chance to capture monsters, and you just capture like whatever three star is on that map, and you rebirth that three star. And that's I think the faster way to to um to do a lot of rebirths. Nope, no luck. But as long as I get to try 20, I'll be able to be able to do, do a few rebirths. Alright, I can do one more. Nope. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I really got. And hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed um, watching the summoning video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.